Ah. We're in. Hello. Yo, what's up, dude? I think uh, Saab went to. You know, Saab. Do you have a Do you have a bidet? Are you asking me or Saab? No, I'm asking you because uh, Saab, Saab went AFK for a second. I don't have a bidet now. He's sponsored by a bidet company, and <laughs> I don't know, dude. Thinking I might get one. I mean, what are those, is that what girls used to, uh, that what girls used to clean their vagina? I mean, Ooh. maybe if they sit backwards. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Why not, dude? It's like one of them uh, douchebags or whatever, right? Wait, what? Yeah, Badea. Sounds like I a douchebag. Badea, heck? I'm fucking confused, dude. I'm confused, too. All right, I'm back, sorry. What did Judd say? Why is everyone on Mega Lullum? We're, we're talking about bidets. Judd, Judd said he, uh, he, women sit on them backwards to clean their... No, they're, they're, the, they're, they're those bags, they put them full of vinegar and they shoot them up the cell. Oh, is that how they do That's it? an anima, isn't it? Oh, no, you mean a twat? A oh, douche no, bag, dude, yeah. Let's, let's, let's skip this. This is giving me bad images, bro. Let's let's get away from that one. It, it go. Yeah, I agree, Quill. Anyway, what were you saying, Savi? Oh, uh, we we're talking about... Uh, so, for me, like... Like I said, so to go back to what I said, I really enjoyed that shootout. I, I don't think I've enjoyed a shot like that in a long time because it felt very intense. And it was like um, a chess a chess game between two opponents, right? People were very patient yeah. and making moves left and right. That was dope. For me, um, it's just in the future because I don't want this to become a common thing in the server. Because if it does, I feel like everybody else will get affected by it. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't work. It, it, that, that was the one thing with uh, 2.0 that made, uh, like it was fun. I enjoyed it, but when there was a... A, like two or three hour shootout daily um everybody fills up yeah yeah the entire server feels quiet and shit for people that are actually you know ones of role playing shit so yeah and thankfully we can stick to airlift and people can move on that way they're not like held up like they used to be back in the day right because i think in 2.0 we didn't have that right versus 3.0 yeah, so yeah 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 kept yeah. the chain kind of going so you can you can move the yardstick a little bit from left Ugh. to right yeah for i think me, people are a little less serious with it too people seem to have lightened up quite a bit uh, I think Some for me, anyway. um, is like the question should be is like when home turf should be activated. Is it like what if an incident happens in the outskirts of home turf? Is that okay for more people to jump in, or uh, is it? That's that's the one thing I did want to discuss actually. Because yeah, because uh, that's the only thing I have an issue with. Other than else, I have no issue with whatsoever. Because, because like I said, if, if we go down there to like the chain gang turf, full soul, and I go up to Mr. K and I just punch him. And then it turns into a shootout, right? I instigated that as a PD, so I, I believe yeah, that yeah, everybody yeah. inside that compound should come out with fucking guns of blazing, clap me, and the rest of the PD. I fully support that. But when like an accident happens outside, and then people are dragged back into it, and everyone else gets involved, is that something you want to see common on the server? Is that something like is we is okay with? I don't think like, that should, I don't think that should ever happen. But at the same time, um, I think there's also the same thing we can say is like when is what going to be a thing, and when are we going to be versing fifty cops and shit like that? Like I think. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it sh we should ever do home ground shit unless there's RP reason for it. So today there was somewhat of an RP reason, but sure, I, we pushed it because we sort of wanted to test things out uh, in terms of like gun chains and off? shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's um, what it felt like. It felt like the new guns are out and new changes were made, and it was a battle to see how it fails out in the, in the battlefield. Yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, if, if we're in a situation, we shouldn't drive to home turf and expect everybody to help us. And I think... We, we already sort of know that like that doesn't really happen but we're always uh pretty much running six deep at tops when there's a shootout so unless like so i i could understand like us going back to base with six people and you know just holding it down and you guys randomly shoot the wrong person and then then they retaliate something like that sure but not like there shouldn't there should never be a um you know intention to go back there purely for you know a 20-man shootout or some shit like that because that's that's literally like armor three days so that's that's pretty much what happened to me. Like I didn't even know there was a war going on. I got on. I go to the compound. I get lasered, and I'm 911. Like, bro, I, I'm not part of this. Stop shooting me. And I keep getting shot. And I, I even leave the compound, and I'm still getting lasered from buildings. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. All right, you're gonna shoot I, me. I, I'm yeah, shooting back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's understandable for cops at that point to shoot you. I think. Like, if you're they also know flying the she same was frogger that was, that was shooting cops, so it was kind of hard to tell. Is that it? It's not it, because yeah, we we'll respond to ATC because that dispatch told those helicopters to land. And none of them did. They kept circling the yeah. area. I think it's fair if you can justifiably say you were brought into the situation. If, 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 because you don't want it to feel unnatural. If someone shoots you, you should, you know, 
try to defend yeah, I have no problem with so. that whatsoever, right? If yeah, I 911 four times, and they actually blocked me from 911 calling anyone. Yeah, like, don't, like, don't, yeah, I wouldn't even 911. I'd just say, all right, I'm in it, and just go with it. You know what I mean? Fuck okay, it at that point. Yeah. I mean, I know there's always that argument that, you know, the PD has got a lot of numbers. It's overwhelming. It's not fun. It's unbalanced. But for me, if we made it balanced, I feel like the server will turn into a PvP server. No? Because that yeah. was what happened back in 2.0. And yep. my fear is you're going to have showdowns every single hour of the day because people know I'm only facing eight. We can get into it and get into it instead of shooting a cop and dipping. I feel like there's more intensity behind it when that happens. And it makes shootouts more intense versus like a balanced PvP map. Yep, 100%. I'm and not at sure times, uh, I do pull people. anybody I do... sort of wants that too much. Yeah, and like I said, I, I, at times I do pull people. Pull people off when we have too many i'm like no nah, you pull off like we don't need you we don't have, we don't have to exhaust all resources that's, that's for... what's that's what's going to be the issue though is i think um us as criminals we, actually we don't. don't know when you're going to be calling spot and when we're going to be versing 50 cops you know what i mean so it's like so I... honest to god i mean for SWAT, it's typically yep. when there's a static holdout coil yep. whenever there's like they're hunkered down they're barricaded right yeah, that's, where, yeah, that's, cool. what, that's what SWAT is effective that yeah, yeah. always happen you know what i mean that's why i think yeah i'm just sucking his dick maybe you know to stop and get a quick look uh, my pov is nah, nah, not nah, a problem with cops it's just that nobody moves when we fight each other i just don't think it'll ever change oh you're gonna start parking on their car i actually did a that's what I wanted to try an open space SWAT kind of uh, shoot out to test the MK14 and see how yeah, the reason really why I had, had pushed out SWAT because it. it was open area and there's people on top of buildings. So the, the title didn't work out, huh? When they hunk it down, they're not mad at the cops. They try to flank them with grass and guns and try to push in there. But it turns out you guys were on top of other buildings and were ready. On this one, I just think or any gang is ready for an attack in the PD. Now, ten times you guys gonna destroy us because Nobody you moves. see coming. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty close to be honest. Like, I, I, although we done goofed, I feel like you guys got put in a situation where you weren't in a normal situation. Oh, absolutely! My back was out, against the wall. Uh, I felt like I was a crim at that point because the odds were against us for sure, right? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 that's what I said to chat yesterday. I said as soon as we change these guns to make them viable, viable against the Air One, they're not going to be a UAV directly above you when it changes. I yeah, and I'm okay with that. I think out, everyone so. should have counters for sure. That way, there should be a risk if you fall lower, right? There should be that risk. Yeah. You can gather the intel and then you push out. If not, then if you hover over like that, you should be shut down, right? I don't know. Do you guys have like an um, RPG or a bazooka or something? Because how did the first helicopter blow up? The white one. Uh, I we should we shot it. I believe it just uh some some. Oh, so what, what I think is it's a it's a bug. So. If, if somebody else starts the helicopter and then they swap seats and you change it, I don't know if you guys did this, but this is what happened earlier. That helicopter can blow up for some reason, whereas normally they wouldn't be able to blow up. Unless it's like a very specific spot we shot that caused it to happen. Um, we were shooting the fuck it out just, of it. Though. It just blew up. It just blew up in the middle of the air. That's it. Just fuck it. Not, not the um, uh, state police helicopter. You know, the, the, the one on top of Wu Cheng or whatever the yeah, fuck, Yeah, right? he, just, he just got destroyed. Oh, Holy somebody shit. Uh, said someone might have RPG'd it, so maybe it was RPG then. So there you go. I think we got it to smoke with guns, and then, yeah, I saw it explode, and I thought it must have been the bug, but there you go. Uh, it got, uh... Wait, was it an RPG? Who? Someone, someone showed me. He didn't use the RPG. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I think we just shot it. I think, I think that you... was Air 9. The first helicopter, or what? <laughs> no, we only used four helicopters, to be fair. That was the first my... Civ 1 that exploded. That was on Wu-Cheng, Yeah, you know? so we, we used the, the UC helicopter. That was it. And then was, we used Air 1, Air 2, and Air 3. Yeah, so that's uh, that's that's one thing is how do we what what how do repairs work? Like, do you guys just fucking auto repair and it just goes back to normal, or what what happens? So I don't think any helicopters were repaired. They're smoking. The only helicopter helicopter was was LSP one. That was that was damaged before the fight started, right? So that's why I, I let him idea. repair it. How's and then it I, also told? seven cops went down what? prior to that long shootout. That you guys want to see a funny blank? And I didn't let him join because I felt like it was the same kind of scenario oh. where yes had den and okay. I was using there. And I didn't want more people to join again, so I kept it to like 17 cops only. <laughs> so those, wait, so those, how, how many? Perfect. Th there was 17 in SWAT that came. Yes. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's that's one thing I wasn't sure. Of. Like, I didn't know if you'd run 12 or 16 or whatever the fuck. No, uh, because the when the home turf is activated, I usually go to two to one ratio, right? So let's say you have more than you have like eight, I'll bring 16, right? You have 10, yeah, I'll bring yeah. 20. That's kind of like my policy behind it, right? I I, th I think that's pretty fair, but I think also. Uh, you know we should probably on home turf make sure we have a limit as well and if that's the case otherwise uh 
because with the new systems coming in with drugs and shit like technically we can take over like half the city if we you know do the right shit so it'd be a little weird if uh you know 500 people started fucking shooting the cops i'll be honest those roof battles are boring as fuck it's it, i mean nobody wants to make a move right you try to take the elevator you go down right vice versa too as well i mean if, if we just don't go on roofs then we wouldn't have that problem right yeah but well, like, i mean it's a sniper battle at that point so it's it's i mean i'm surprised it like w went the way it did because it, w it was wild it was really wild. if you're in the middle of it you knew exactly what i was talking about just... i don't i don't mind it to be honest like i feel like if, if we got to get to a situation where there's a shootout like that it's going to be very rare and uh using buildings and shit, i think uh is fine i know that there was some blowback a while back where cops could land on any building and i i, I think that should be a thing I, I don't think cops should be limited like am i allowed to land on this building because it doesn't have access type shit? like i think it's weird that that's even a thought process well, that, 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 that was a 2.0 thing we removed in 3.0 well, if, if you think about yeah. it, right? Like, for instance, the reason why I was getting laser is because the cops were so far away on buildings, they couldn't even make out who I was. You know, like yeah, it, and I, I got fucking sniped also pretty well by somebody who's um, hiding. That was that was impressive. I got baited into a car and then they just fucking took me out like that. So, so they're making yeah, shots of people they don't even know who they're shooting at. So at that point, it's just like, because there was other like Vagos got shot, um, the Balos, some of those guys got shot just driving through, and like I mean, it's a. It's it's a, it's a product of sort of how it needs to be. If we so that's that's I I prefer close range gunfights, but at the same time, like we need range on some weapons to counter counter the police helis. Otherwise, it would have been like what it was yesterday, which is a, a free UAV for them that we can't do. Yeah, we're the hell are there just smoking, taking no damage, right? So, so basically, how it works right now is the Dragonov and the M14 will uh, do less flesh damage, or so it, it hits for like 30 or something, but it shoots way further um but when it hits a vehicle it uh does twice the damage an ak would do so uh you know it, it, it it's worse versus players but it's better versus air one but it's still viable if you headshot like if you headshot it's got like four or five times multiplier so um i think the range needs to be there otherwise we'd have to get rid of air units and i think that would literally fucking you know just just be fucking way too easy for criminals at that point I don't, I don't think I've ever been caught as a criminal unless there was an air unit. But now they can be counted, like at least we've got a chance when there is an air unit, whereas like, you know, two or three days ago it was, it was next to impossible. Yeah, I mean, air one is probably our most effective tool we have right now, right? It's like the eyes and ears of the sky and it sees everything. And yeah. like, I'm, I'm all for counters because it makes it fun for me. Like next time, like, oh, I gotta think about what to do next. For me, the PD progression of being a little soul is getting humbled and understanding how we went down and how we can do a better job. So in the future, I'm like, oh, I got a plan for this. I need to pay attention for that. That makes me a better cop and a, you know, somebody who knows how to engage in tactical aspect. Cause if I'm constantly yeah. just like walking over somebody, I'm not gonna get better. If I don't face adversity or leave my comfort zone, I'm not gonna get better. So I need these moments to humble me a little bit, to knock me down a pedestal to say, ah, oh, okay. I see what I did wrong. I can do better in X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And how many, how many errors are that. we gonna do? Like, is there gonna be a limit to, uh... to that? Like air four or air ones, like at one point, I mean, you guys had more helicopters than we did, so... Yeah, we ended up... Listen, yeah, at the end of the day, we had just as many numbers and just as many head units, really, so... I know that... I know there's... Uh, even I was saying, like, yo, this is Air 69 coming up, but... Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, if we're to... If we're to nerf that in a situation like that, I don't think we need to. But, but I think they were pulling like out... a normal uh, chase or something, that would make sense. You know what I mean? I, I think they were pulling out helicopters because the cops pulling out helicopters. And those helicopters are extensive to pull no, out. No, no, we had helis before that shit even happened. Oh, okay. We, that was literally our plan to get on roof and shit with like... Yeah, no, you guys so. were ready for us. That's why we got fucked up. Hey, what a Kevin? Fuck, I gotta turn... Because we had numbers. Oh, up. The, the only thing I up. would worry about in that really? entire situation <clears> is uh, you guys having helis... I don't mind it if it's on home turf, but like if we are doing um, like a Methron or something, having having to worry about three or four helis, I think is absurd. No, 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 no. We, we talked about that, right? So it's one to one ratio, right? Because helis go down differently now. And like I yeah. said, there's so if there's one helicopter, a second helicopter, the helicopter gonna duke it on in the, in, the, in the air. If there's two helicopters, then we bring out air two. If there's three helicopter, air three, right? I think. I think that's fair, my opinion, right? Because the way helicopters yeah. are done. So that's what that's what I was saying. Like maybe maybe we don't have a limit on the helicopters, but it's more of a time restraint. So if we are to disable a helicopter or it goes back for repairs, you can't bring one up straight away. Like something something has to happen in that 
downtime and then you can bring another one up so that way that you would never be limited uh for other scenes and shit like that as well but i just don't know how we'd uh yeah you know, i don't know how you apply it. that because like you know people are humans and they make mistakes and i feel like one day yeah, somebody's yeah. gonna fuck that up and it's gonna be a reddit post well i mean honestly i don't think we give a fuck at this point like i think uh even you know like it used to be a common thing in 2.0 there was a lot of reddit and drama about it but i think uh even uh people who were drama bound have changed a lot and uh, would be more willing to you know say it's fucking dumb right but what if there's like a repair timer somebody. so you can use the same yeah, helicopter that's what, that's, and there's a cool that's what i was thinking so yeah if so you, if you helicopter smoke and you go back for a repair and it takes like you know five minutes uh depending on how fucked up it is or something like that oh yeah and then if it's completely damaged just like doubled out right for example for smoking right i'll be okay with that i think yeah. that's fair game i think i think it's something that you know that could promote more of um you know being more cautious and no one to retreat and take care of the helicopter that way you don't have to suffer more yeah what do you guys think about that i think that's where most of our graphs have come from recently is like just fucking uav fucking helicopters yeah. and the fights the main thing that always fucks us up is the helicopters because they can call it our every move and we can't usually reach them that's what coil said basically i don't think that's an issue now i think i think it should be good for the most part yeah. Yeah. Take, before we couldn't take him down. Like the AKs would not do shit to him. We couldn't. No, no, I remember that. Time. Yeah, I remember that. It was just like, okay, well, like. But I think that's what made the next run so you know? scuffed, right? If if we, we we couldn't, we literally couldn't counter air one. Like it's impossible to counter air one on a meth run. Even if we go up there in the air, it's like hard to shoot down and shit. But now at mm -hmm. least uh, we do have a chance. And it probably didn't help that the M4 did like five times damage versus helis over the AK as well. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm glad things are back on track it's, now. So there was a just... couple of guns Crims could have used that did the same. It wasn't just like just the cop gun. There was the Draco which it did ridiculous damage as well. But I don't think anybody tried it. Yeah, everyone's been just using AKs really. You didn't think yep, that Draco would reach that far? Probably that's why. Mm -hmm. True. I mean, besides now, um... using Dracos because they were shit for a little bit back in the day. I swear I mean, to God, John just fucking randomly changed somehow. Yeah, we don't weird. do shit. It's because five M probably changes it, maybe something. I don't know. Don't say, don't say that. <laughs> oh, oh. I just bad. think um, I don't know. I, I I really think it has to do with like latency in the server and how well the server's performing and how fast certain guns shoot. So the faster it shoots, the more chance it is uh, to, or more likely it is to fuck up essentially. So AP pistols, for instance, oh. sometimes they feel ridiculous. Sometimes they feel dog shit, and and they haven't really changed in terms of like, uh, you know, damage and shit like that. That's probably why the scorpion's good right now, because that's a, it shoots slow, but it's all hey, summit. Have you seen the movie? So I think it's taken. yeah, more so to do with like taken latency and how well you know how how many cycles the uh, server's doing before it fucking chokes on itself. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Um, also, what were the rest of the cops like? How were they? How were they? The uh, sub, man. Appreciate it. Feeling afterwards. Oh, I mean, people wanted to fight. I, I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I think it was a good humbling lessons uh, for people. I think people, most people enjoy the shootout. I think. I I, met, I put it to vote. I said, "Hey guys, we're outnumbered. They got rooftops. They're probably gonna smoke us. Raise your hand if you if you don't want to go." And nobody raised their hand. Everybody went to go and fight. So we went. Right. I was trying to negotiate with um, Mr. K, but at that time, five it's five six cops went down. I was like. I don't know if I can trust this now, right? Because, like, I don't know if we go in there and try to grab yeah. them, we might get fucked up, right? Yeah. And that might turn into another shootout, right? At that point, I acknowledged that Chang Gang had us. I was like, dude, no. Just release uh, Aziz and, uh, you know, and uh, then, you know, I can't do anything. If I go in there, it's a slaughterhouse, right? I'm going to get destroyed. Because, like, you guys are prepared for us. You guys are ready for us, and you got people on deck, it's not going to be an easy task. I mean, uphill battle with a lot of fucking bloodshed. So what do you think of like um in on home turf we because I, I still feel like we need limits uh, but maybe we fight. do it on 12 and then you guys when have one guy down right? or something like that i'll be okay with that if, if if home turf is activated then you activate swat and then duke it out you know yeah, yeah what, do, what do you guys think about home that? turf um i think it should be more than six i don't think it should be like a fucking crazy number where we have like tons of people waking up and shit. yeah we don't want to encourage like uh you know Fucking 40 v 40 uh ea sport fucking shootouts well how many is there a limit to cops on the scene because i think we just based it off how many cops really no uh, swat there is it's a two to one ratio right now so if there's six of you guys there's 12 of us if there's 10 of you guys there's 20 of us right yeah maybe um, maybe the 10 v 20 would work because they're gonna have two yeah, units like too 10. which is usually four 
people, so it would be 10 There's versus 15 on the ground around, there, yeah. Look, I want to deploy more of SWAT and raids for home turf. I want to deploy... Why do you guys ship um, do nothing the whole time? Instant took place inside. That's why, like, when I, I mean, knew Denton... I don't want to die. How, how do we go about that, though? Pretty like, simple. If you guys are raiding us, do we actually, like... If we wipe you, you should still be able to raid us. It's not like you'd lose that evidence and shit, you know what I mean? Be, it, I, I feel like it'd be weird if that was, like, the quote-unquote game of it. Yeah, yeah. But I think, yeah, cause no, yeah, they should definitely be able to raid. Cause the whole point be of beating the cop to, to, in a raid is to be able to yeah. clear your place out after, you know what I mean? That's yeah, the or, or, or kill them and take what was in the car sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not just sort of forget about it or whatever. But yeah, limit-wise, I think 10, 12 max, something like that. I tried to call and negotiate with Savvy, he didn't answer. Bro, I was just being shut up, man. I, 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 I could not, man. I was focused, I was trying to, I, you know, for me, the way I, the way I, I get exhausted after shootouts because to me and maybe Kevin can relate is like it's almost like playing StarCraft, right? I have to basically dictate where people are going and tell them what to do because sometimes they don't listen. And if I don't, don't give you the deal a lot of time. We come get our boys and you get to live. That's a good. I deal. wish I knew that. I wish I knew that because I would have negotiated for that for sure. Because it was. Yeah, it was, I mean that's uh, honestly that's something we should all consider as well. Like when yeah. you know half the half of a squad's down on either side. Calling for a negotiation at that point is probably a, a sensible thing, even, yeah. even if it's uh, criminals, you know, submitting and giving weapons over or some just something. That, yeah, like a that, ceasefire, a right? Thing. Like, uh, yeah, like you acknowledge that we're a stalemate here. For let's just go our part. We go our separate ways. Take your boys, give us our cops, and we go our separate ways, and then no harm, no foul, right? Yeah, that's spam calling you. Yeah, yeah I was, was multiple out. times in that fight where I was like, "Holy fuck, this is never gonna end." Yeah, dude, I was at that point as well. But like, but like I said, I enjoyed the shootout. I really enjoyed it. It felt like an event. It felt like a an intense event where Chang'e yeah, was trying to give us a case of more medicine. Yo, Sob, you like pizza, dude? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I love pizza. I was pizza. wondering if you, like, if you want any shit for PD or whatever. I was wondering if you like pizza, that's all. Oh, we're doing the pizza challenge? <laughs> Me and Coil are very yeah, good man, at making pizza. Is there anything dude. you need? I can't tell if you're trolling me for a joke or you're being serious. I'm serious, dude. Like, I'm bummed. I don't know what time is it, actually. Plus 4.20. What? I mean, I got like an hour-ish. I don't, I, guess so. I, don't, I don't know if I can order pizza right now. It's it's 12.30 Trust for me. me. You can order food somewhere right now. You're in Austin, Texas, right? Oh, the later it gets, the shittier the food is. So. Uh, yeah. Let me see. The higher chance of fucking shitting and spewing at the same time. There's nothing on DoorDash. Let me try Uber Eats. Let's go, to their, go to the website directly. Jesus Christ, I, I literally live in like a fucking uh, a tent in the middle of nowhere, all right? And I can That's get shitty island. food at night time, okay? I can get food, but I'm not sure about pizza. Is Colorado Springs a good Plus, place I'm closer to, to downtown. If I'm closer to downtown Austin, I can definitely get pizza, but I'm like 20 minutes away. You could always uh, make, you know, something. Does anyone okay. live with you? Can someone go for a drive, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, um, Ashlyn, but she's out drinking. You know Mine, what, so. dude? I already donated a thousand dollars. You you should actually just eat the fucking pizza. So true. true. Um, you should you should actually check, just eat the fucking fridge. pizza let if you ever want a donation again in your life. Let me check my fridge. I might have a frozen pizza. I'm not sure if you're okay with it or not. Yo, Listen, in this combo, I need the... extra sardines, mayonnaise, vegan cheese, you know, shit like see, that. See, you have to understand, so I went to I didn't have much to complain about in that fight besides... And I had somebody throw everything out. Because people I don't just cook. sitting and doing Actually, nothing, man. Actually, look for the expired stuff and make it better. It's not like that's really a viable thing oh, that to complain about because ER? that's... Yeah, yeah, what are you going to do about that? You won't go to the ER, dude. People are just going to I might get banned on Twitch for self harm with that. We did a late night one with uh, Trev and. Um, and then it's gonna be a. It's, who, who, it still who, who, doesn't change the it? fact that um, oh, we just still we, she, we yeah. should she not ever the, fight the cops in the yeah. six man because well, if anything today day. proves to me that it's the like. The travel one was pretty funny. Whoopi fucking just. There's no way you stand a chance against actually. that many cops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoopi was yeah, We had how many? I'm not even sure. I ate a pickle the other day that expired in 2018. It was fine. That's fucking disgusting, dude. It was fine, dude. That's because a pickle tastes like shit no matter when you it eat it. It was dude. just extra sour. It deserves it, too. That's why you're probably good. Yeah. I think that um, during this whole combo, uh, Summit, he's made a really good point. Yeah, Yo, well, I, really, so, I really up, like dude? the input from Summit. It's really actually... Yeah, what's up? You know, well, actually, what I... Know, you, right you know now. what we should bring up, Summit? We should bring up that clip that you guys watched to uh, Saab and see how he reacts to it differently to Kyle. Oh, that's true. Put what it on the spot, one? Dude. I don't know which. It wasn't. A, was it a breach? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it was sort I think of it was yeah. the one where they breached the, like uh, the boat. Somebody. 
the uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm, see, I'm the opposite spectrum. I'm in the like the the middle. I get shafted by cop viewers and crim viewers because <laughs> I see both sides, and sometimes I like to. Because you're neutral, you get fucked in the ass. In 100%. The mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean, dude. I, I get full penetration all the time. So for me, I don't like to risk breaching because it could hurt the hostage. Unless have they you seen try the clip? Escalate. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm not. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. It though. I I can't remember. Like I vaguely, I, I, I watched it once, so I want to just yeah, double check that. Uh... Look, you already know my opinion on it, so I'm not going to start. From memory, I I'm pretty. I, I even I, I was in so much chat when they watched it. I was like, oh, that's fucking dumb. Or maybe I watched it and then went in so much chat. I can't remember. Um, you're talking yeah, on the radio that's... in game, dummy. Oh fuck! Well, I have to. Hold on, let me tap. Damn, up. you in game right now, dude? We both are. We're just sitting Damn. in the car in the middle of Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> People keep rolling up to us and talking to us. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what the question was. Uh, do you know the answer? What? Well, I don't know what the question was. <laughs> Here it is. I got. I'll throw it in chat for you. I don't want to dog in the clip any more than I did the other day when we talked. Uh, I've already said my piece. Yeah, I think I'm, 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 I'm like, uh, the kind of guy. Really because of mechanical, I do so. This shit again. You should sometimes, Long. right? I think you have to look at it as like, what if that one so, time you risk that I chance think... and a person dies? Because I know we live in a city where people just get back on their feet. I think it's sh shot. But me, it's just gunplay over roleplay. It's, 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 it's this simple. It's, I, I think this is the most easy way to put it. You never shoot somebody when their gun is at the back of somebody's head. That's, That's just what, what I, I do. I'm confused That's what, I said. what was uh, the reasoning? Well, um, there was like a point that was made at the end of Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips, or the guy got shot <laughs> in the end or something like that because... Even while he had a gun on somewhere. Shut or the remember. fuck what? up. Wait, what? I, I, don't tell me shut the fuck up. I'm just saying what was being used. That's what XQC I mean. used. We need to understand half yeah, the words instead. Wait, why'd they look, shoot look, him look, look, so, so Oh, that's right. That was like XQC. Yes, yeah, so XQC they, they was shot our because shooting. it was only one person holding a gun and it was a yeah, female yeah. robbery. Yeah, so, yeah. so listen, listen, listen. Let me, let, me, let me tell you the, the side that I That was XQC. That's okay if you shoot someone because there's only one person there, but you don't do it while the gun's at the head. You wait for a point where they yeah. look away or they do something sloppy, joint, and not, then you they shoot got to the them, side. You know? Because yeah, we have we have times exactly. like that where like we drop the gun for a sec and they rush in and kill us. Which yeah, you, you distract her, you pull us. Her gun. You know, like, you have she one has it right on the back of the head. I don't know about that one. Like if yeah. this got if this got reported, I if I if I was voting on it, I'd say they deserve bans because it's just lazy. It really is. But it's like um, in saying that. I think it's justifiable to have shot her in this situation if there was the, the break somewhere that, that, that made sense. Because yeah. look at them, they got their guns down, and by the time they pulled their guns up and everything, she could have shot like multiple times, but she doesn't because she doesn't expect the cops to be that fucking stupid. Well, and, and then I think you know that two people shooting what, somebody in the face, you delete them right away. They don't have a chance to click left, left click, right? Yeah. The yeah, point yeah, yeah. I made was anytime you have a gun in the back of somebody's head, you should never shoot them. Yeah, respect that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then find other opportunities to take them down. RP 101, literally the basic. But yeah, I'll say that yeah. and people will fucking flame you for it. people doing the job. I mean, that sounds like an easy catch anyway. And saying that, like, um, yeah, exactly. I, I think, uh, but to, to be fair, the fucking yacht is fucking tedious as fuck. And that's probably oh, yeah. more. I think it was OOC driven that obviously that happened rather than uh, this is a logical RP. And, and I've said this scenario. before. You should not be acting as many admins punishing people who are main max in the server. That's not your job as yeah. a cop, right? Your job is to um, role play as a cop, right? And see what's in front of you and, you know, based on the role play, what's happening in front of you. You shouldn't be like, oh, I know this person is main max in the Felica bank. Let's breach him. Like, that seems like an OOC intention and I see consequences, which should not happen. Yeah, if you have an issue, yeah. you should bring it up to admins and let them resolve it. Yeah. Well, like, even, even still, I, I feel like it was fair that they shot in that situation if the gun was ready or something or they talked on the radio or just something that gave them that break you know what i mean yeah they uh she was very well, would nice you give, uh, she was very would you cooperative. be okay if they shot if, during a radio call if the gun was not being aimed I was absolutely say that first but like i mean that's a game mechanic though kinda, yeah that's yeah like a, i i think that's questionable i, I, I do it if the gun wasn't yeah. directed at them sort of thing you know what i mean because you can like, hold you it and when you hit the radio your gun kind of comes yeah, up naturally yeah. I would Wait, do it, oh, like, you're, I think you're right, actually. Around, I think you're right. Like, looking to the side. Maybe or... if they walked away from the hostage to talk on the radio. Either, either way, listen, the, the, the reality is there was zero effort for them to even make it look like they were trying to save life. Like, that was, that was not about saving life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just literally about a dick flex. 100% that's what it was. 
and uh, it was lazy. But in saying that, that's like, his, for me, for me to Watch say that, that's ISIS chick. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? It's um. No disrespect. That's just disrespect. Yeah, well, and, and this isn't it. to say Crim's doing any better, because I, dude, the amount of times I've been on like Francis when I first started or whatever, and I was playing with Lucius, we take criminals hostage, and they do the exact same shit. Like. I, I would have someone from another gang hostage like this and then their gang would just shoot you and like you they wouldn't say shit so oh yeah that's all. it's not like only cops are doing this and i think um honestly if people just report it it should i i in my opinion be at least warnings and then bans uh to, to encourage you know some sort of sort of role play rather than gunplay yeah and i do think if you induce something like a, a city vault you should probably bring at least four people right like trying to man it you're asking to place yourself in a position to where the cops We'll start to edge a little bit closer to thinking about breaching, right? Here's the don't, thing: don't want to give them that inch because they'll take that mile, right? You could have had two other people. You could have somebody waiting in a helicopter, making sure it didn't poof, or a getaway car, making sure it didn't. Yeah, poof. they could have had more than we, you know. we don't. We'll never know now because they got ended. Well, was, you know, they could have, could have, could have, but at the same time, like I, I still think uh, it's justifiable to to shoot someone in that situation as long as their gun isn't there. So it's relevant what else was there because they didn't see a life threat other than that person. Well, that's in any situation, right? As long as you can get the hostages yeah, and they walk that's, away. You know, what's, what's to stop someone saying, oh, I had a bomb in the car the entire time or some shit like that, you know? Like, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's what you see and it's up to them as criminals to also play their cards right so they know, you know, the the, the cops are aware of their power and that's how well, negotiating really, works. You, ne you need to be able to say that. She tried to, she said, oh, we have four people and she went to go so... clarify it and they shot her before she could. Yeah, it was like a thing where they weren't, they thought that she meant the four people including the hostages and then they went to clarify and before the clarification came through uh <laughs> yeah, yeah either way like i i that was shit like it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have went down like that 100 anyway sab's a little bitch but sorry. yeah fucking mvp mr k MVP, you know i i i donated really to him and i was like i want you to buy a bidet so you can fucking drink toilet water and he actually is sponsored by a bidet company. i have like one i have one installed Wait, really? and ready yeah, yeah bidet yeah. company streamers did you ever show your asshole on stream to show how clean it was? Yeah, I reached out to him and said, hey, listen, me and my community would love to be sponsored by uh, your product. I, I showed him that I, I have bidets in the past and it's something that, you know, I've had in my family. And Honestly, like, oh, you should sure. do a before and after photo, like, yeah, when you take asshole. a shit. Yeah. Uh, so I thought about doing a commercial for them where, like, you wipe and it's chocolate, right? Bring up the bank has in the breach administration. I was scared it might be... joking, bro. Yeah, I was How can I do like that when the show, very, yeah. very start of the call I just started was, a new man, I really RPG love that, that we could airlift now and oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, yeah, and get back to help in the city, good. you know? It's like, it kind of throws that out the window right out of the window. I don't think you meet the judge. Do they give you the company or what? That's the sponsorship? Yeah, I get I get eighty percent. Uh, uh, you could disagree. Tonight. Yeah, but my place oh, isn't really to disagree because I haven't spent enough time here. Um, but I have decided, like I said, to after all the drama, to invest the a lot program, of time here. Right? And uh, I mean, we'll yeah, see how the balance goes. I don't personally think that there's going to be a balance between cops and crimps, especially when it's six feet forty, right? And I just have to accept that it's like shootouts just aren't going to be. Yeah, I know that was addressed recently, so beneficial. I mean, sometimes we're fighting hella cops, but I mean, just how it is. Cool sometimes. Yeah, I think it's just the helicopter. I've been pissed about it. It's your moment, Summit. It's your moment. I think as long as you can, I think as long as you can justifiably say there's only going to be two choppers in most situations, that's fine. But home turf, it would be different. Like, uh, that's that's my only worry from today is like if you guys had like fucking seventeen different helicopters for a meth run, bro. We would be losing our shit and fucking Rami would be spitting, dude. Just we won because we had like 15 Well, people, Sab so. said, do you have any issues really? at the PD right now? It's your moment, Summit. Six people would have been had. We'd have like It's what, been a week down, of turmoil blowing up to this moment. We had five or six of us down. <laughs> Let's hear it. And he don't know why. Wait, are you talking about me? Saab, not Coil. Yeah. yeah. I'm in Kyle. Okay, are you asking me to, uh, to uh, express my concerns here, Judd? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah um, it's exactly what I'm doing or not. I'd love to hear your feedback. I mean, man, my only feedback is just kind of like annoyed at how long the gunfights are and like how the cops don't actually do anything. You guys will just sit and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And then we're expected to actually make the plays. You guys will make a play for about five yeah. minutes. And then as soon as the fucking ball gets into your court, even in the slightest way, you guys just sit and wait and do nothing, even though you have a crazy man advantage. I think it's annoying and it's kind of frustrating that three guys will sit on top of a construction building while you guys have locked down the whole two block, you know, vicinity on high ground. And it's like, how are we expected to even get close to getting our one guy? Which I understand is not even expected, but 
not even making plays and just sitting and sitting and sitting is kind of annoying and frustrating too. But I don't know how anybody else feels about that. That could just be. No, I, I can agree with that actually. Yeah. A lot of times PD will be very passive when they have like even like a, yeah, like a massive upper hand. They'll still be very passive. It's just like fuck. We gotta like. Good you really have to take this. Yeah, this exactly. <laughs> I yeah. think a lot of this also comes from like who's in charge at the time too because I feel yeah. like people will do plays like we had people uh come up on our building and push us and shit like that that's why we ended up well we died to yeah. our own we self already talked about the we push and shit. like today I think uh police were being really aggressive like they, they they came to little soul where we were camping you know what I mean mm -hmm. and then they did make moves but I can understand in situations where it's more so just the police not so much SWAT it's when it's uh, a police involved uh, shooting when it's like 50 cops versus six um, and you know there's like three cars driving in circles honestly today I was laughing at it it's like you got you guys looked like the 2.0 gang gang walls because you were like there was a couple of you I think it was gunner actually driving up and down the street oh just doing God, God, circles, so dude. fucking annoying to catch yeah it's that that though that that is some weird shit but i don't know like like it's not it's it was not bad hard that the to move because it, we couldn't, i could i couldn't move down the, the ladder because you guys had a, we were hunkered down we were basically we couldn't move because we had people on top yeah. of the building to our north a building to our east and then you had people on bikes and people in cars so we were stuck so it see like that see now take that and that's every single crim versus cop fight the reason it felt like that today is because we had numbers finally right and yeah, we could but, but the crews have the advantage better. of the element of surprise. We don't the element that. of surprise we might take we two of you guys out or something like that, man. That doesn't do much. The helicopter yeah, yeah, yeah. was very no, ineffective no. today. They could not fly because you had people on top of rooftops. Man. It was like, yeah, it, was like a, yeah, yeah, it got exactly. lower. So, uh, you sniped this it. guy. Chat am I think so. This has always been our issue, and this is why I wanted to know Helly's was like, if we did have a setup with three people with Dragonovs on a bridge like further up, we wouldn't be able to shoot the heli. But now we can do it, and and give ourselves yeah, I do you know, like that gun a free that passage gun at this nice. point the gun is very uh, as soon as i saw that first helicopter blow up i was like holy crap we can actually do something felt to good it. right i was like oh my yeah. god <laughs> I like yeah. I said, that's why that's why we couldn't track you guys i had everyone try to track the car and get i had gunner and another person go after you guys but they couldn't yeah, every time they could exactly the helicopter would, would get fucked up and we had to fall back yeah, yeah, so same, it, it was like path, i moved though, an inch would, and then i had to move negative inches backwards because there was a lot of pushback so I didn't want to throw numbers yeah. at two guys and die and be stuck up on the, on the rooftop and then wait for the push to happen. So and I'm... That's why I was saying like, if we shoot down a helicopter, I don't think you should bring out air two straight away. I feel like it should be a timed period for that. There should uh, be some sort of reward for it. Yeah, so we, we get like a, a 10 minute period of like, you know, essentially in that situation, it would have been minutes, difficult something. because there was a lot of helicopters involved. No, right? no, no, not for home turf. No, not for home turf. I mean, the, I'm not worried about the home turf shit. I, oh, I no, no, I completely chaos. agree with that. Like meth runs, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. exactly. Well, we talked about that. I, I think if a, if a helicopter's smoking, it goes back, there's a cooldown for it to get rid of. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if a helicopter gets blown up, there's like a massive cooldown for it to get back up. That way it gives you time between to turn it into a chase on the ground and then you guys turn to make a move, right? I don't see the issue yeah. with that because it should be and that counter um... and that give and take. Because we've had this is this is the issue with the server. We uh, police will laugh at criminals and be like, hey, and, and you know it's rightfully so sometimes. And it's like, oh, these guys don't even try, you know, rap plan shit like that. But we we're sort of forced into this situation where uh, Air One is extremely overpowered, and you do you guys always have air units these days. Like you know, you're pretty pretty. Capable. Yeah, and I don't see an issue with rap plans because you should try your hardest to get away as a criminal. I would rather you try that than you not. Do yeah, that. I don't want you to go I easy on people... me though because. People go easy and they complain when they get caught, though. You know? Yeah, they're doing this though because how banks are set up. I think. Like, I, th I think the one of the biggest flaws with gang, gang versus cop uh, situations is how the heists are sort of. It's not, not the heist themselves, but how you have to rush to do a heist. There's no, right, there's nothing like, we can um, do to create a situation that's actually fun, other than absolutely. like. Absolutely. Oh, wait, wait. Days, Wasn't like this exact? Right? It, it was. Yeah. It was this exact situation that we were supposed to. Oh, no, no, it was the one before this one. Remember, we were supposed a to Polito. do a Polito, but it took us so long to set it up. Another creator. Yeah. Exactly. We had we had like a setup plan ready to go, and then <laughs> fucking yeah, we got fucked in the ass. So yeah, and, uh, and I, that sucks. Is I'm, I look I used to look forward to the Changing plans with Kevin's ideas, the fucking Fast and Furious shit, like the bikes, the people yeah, dressed so that's up. Now saying, you like, can't. Yeah, we just can't do it no more. If well, we we I, I think the helicopter would have prevented that too. So I think we we definitely need to either uh, SOP it for now and just say if a, if a helicopter goes back for repairs or it goes down. Um, it's like a five minute break minimum and then you can get the uh the next next one up 
Uh, but that would be different for the home turf, like I said. But I mean, just like the general meth run or... My only issue is know, like not having whatever. a mechanic around it is like... Oh, well, we'll add it, but like I just don't want to like... I don't know if it will necessarily come in today. Like, the thing is like, how, how do I prevent you from taking a helicopter out if you one just exploded, you know what I mean? That would have to be on you in a way. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, it'd have to be like a SOP type thing. Well, I think um, right now you can take it down. Like, let's say you do a uh, meth run and you set up a dragon ops. You have two guys on the rooftops. You can fuck up the helicopter. It's flying low. You can take it out of the sky. Yeah, like, we, we, yeah. So we shoot it out of the sky, but that's what I'm saying. Like, how do, how would I to as me, a to me, code if, to if, prevent you from pulling out another one? Like, do we, we track we when that helicopter explodes? Or do you guys just say, hey, five minutes, 10 minutes, and then we get another one sort of thing? Well, if you see the helicopter explode, it's, it's out. It's out of the game right there. It's like it's like losing an interceptor in a pursuit. Yeah, yeah, right? I understand that. But your second helicopter that you got to pull out, right? It shouldn't come out. And, and that should not come out unless a helicopter is involved in that pursuit, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, the policy I mean, we have right now. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. If Air One goes down and you guys do not use an air unit, then we keep it to a ground chase. Okay. You well, that, that, that makes sense then. Yeah, easy peasy. Unless um, a, a, unless a, a, a helicopter shows up and starts shooting at us, then we pull out that's Air when Two you get to counter. One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the policy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good with me. Like I said, I, I try to make sure that it's fair but stern. That way. Honestly, I I was like, I don't, I didn't, I couldn't even be bothered doing the the idea of doing meth runs was somewhat fucking depressing at this point. <laughs> but now, uh, helis can, you know, we can make strats and do shit that might actually. Uh, I mean, I'll, I, can I give you guys an advice? I, I, I don't like that at all. Every meth run we would do would be like two hours, and we're all just like, Jesus Christ. And so, so the the cars are slower than the A pluses, and. You had fucking invincible helicopters. It was like next to impossible to fucking actually, you know, get away, really. You definitely need some luck. Honestly, you gotta talk to Rami because he used to sell that shit back in the day. I don't know how he did it. Uh, he used to, well, he used to do it because back in the day, you could take your car somewhere where there's no locals and you, there would be no ping. There's no more locals anymore. Yeah. It's, changed now. it's a tracker. So, yeah, so mm. that's why it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, because you'll always... So you could just drive on Mount Chiliad, sit there AFK, and then come down when the track is gone. But now the tracker stays there. It just slows down. It's a 50-minute right? tracker. Yep, it's a 50-minute yeah. tracker from the start. We get the first thing. So you have 50 minutes between now and then to lose the cops. When you do, you're gone. We can't find you. Wait, the tracker comes on after 15 minutes? When the, when the first when the first ping goes out, we have 15 minutes of that tracker. And then afterwards, it's gone. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought, but like even even still with the air units and like how Wait, slow so the, the car was, it was just rough. Wait, the tracker disappears after 15? Correct. Yeah, I, I swear to God this happened. Fucking Remy's just dumb, dude. <laughs> yep. And then it Fucking pings the last shit, location dude. of that tracker, that's it. And we don't get any more remote location, that's it. Yeah, either way, I think uh, so. I think we've sped up the cars a little bit, and then um, I think you just have to wait to escalate at the last minute. And this, I'm, I'm trying to help you guys. This doesn't hurt me. And no, no, future, no, no. I think I, I think we'll that, be yeah. fine, honestly. I think I think the air units were just like severely overpowered, and it wasn't like your guys' fault. It's just like literally how we had to service it up. So I think honestly, the the shootouts and and everything will change drastically. Like even even like bolt getaways and shit with uh, how the air unit is now. Yeah, and like I said, go back to what someone was saying about like the PD. The, the, the PD, think of it as like a massive fucking goblin, right? It moves really slow sometimes. You have a lot of guys that sometimes don't know what they're doing, and I'm not trying to shit on them, but um, a lot of them are new. They're not used to this kind of no, element of surprise. A lot of you guys are potatoes, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of... We don't recruit anymore. Like in 2.0, we used to actually care about people knowing how to drive, how to shoot and shit like that, because that was the meta back in the day, right? It mattered. Nowadays, we, we recruit because we need numbers, right? So there's a lot of Pepegas in the PD that don't know how to fucking maneuver, how to move. So it takes a fucking mile to move everybody from what about point A to point B. That's why the PD feels like a slow goblin trying to just game time hobble the way like to the location. At times, it's hard to be an aggressive because, like, people are just not listening, right? So it's like a lot of moving parts situations like that to happen. Then so I tell people, hey, you two, get in the car, go after that car. And they just don't know what they're doing. So I have to guide them. And I don't want to guide them because I have to fall back and work on my shit and make sure the people at the scene are doing their job, right? So it's hard to be like multiple places at once. It does help sometimes when people are having experience and they're willing to be aggressive because I would rather be aggressive and end an outcome than hold out for another hour or two and then try to get that victory, right? Because I just, to me, I enjoy the shootout, I enjoy intensity, but there's always a climax. And once you get to that climax and it, it just peaks off that, I just want to move on to the next thing. Yeah. Either way, I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I think a lot of issues will be resolved uh, with, with, the, with the change, so be good to see what happens, I guess. Yeah, it'll be good.
I got baby rage in the background. Just let here. gangs yeah, uh, no, overthrow really, PDs. Mm -hmm. on Reddit, dude. What about cops punishments? Yeah, I don't think we <laughs> I got TTS on Reddit right now, dude. Be <laughs> speaking about that's gonna get anywhere. It doesn't sound like that's uh, what Sav is interested in. Uh, boys, man, the big boy cops, huh? Yeah, you're not Kevin. Okay. I'm gonna see if I have that piece of red bike.